How are things? Things are great. Yeah. Things are good. We're very close to opening our financial district location. So where is that? Where is that exactly? It's so it's in what was the World Financial Center, which is now called Brookfield Place. Okay. And it's all the way on the west side, basically directly west of Freedom Tower. Okay. So kind of like just south of Tribeca. We're gonna be opening a food court of sorts. Okay. We're calling cool. it a dining terrace. Who else is there? We're actually calling it Hudson Eats. It's okay. now the new, brand new, so just got sent that name. which one is it then? It's Hudson Eats at Brookfield Place. Okay. Is the official name. Okay. You grew up in Berkeley. I did. Okay. Yes, just outside of San Francisco. So it's funny, when we first, when we first met, which was at dinner with Kyle. That's right. Um, I was on a gluten-free kick. And we had had a conversation, because I don't think I'd ever had a burrito at that point in my ever. life. Ever. 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 That's kind of unbelievable. Yeah. But you were saying, you know, you're like, well, you know, our tacos are gluten free. Um, and so I said, okay, I'm going to give it a shot. And I developed a bad habit of going to, I mean, you won't think it's bad, but I It's a good it's, habit. Yeah, it's a good no, habit. All habits are bad. <laughs> um, tacos are healthy. The biggest difference is that you guys, you melt the cheese. Indeed we do. Yeah. And that is a proprietary technology to those okay. us. So yes, the tortilla steamer that we use is, I'm not going to say it's one of a kind. For New York, it's pretty one of a kind, right. as well as for the entire East Coast. Is there a certain amount of time that you have after it comes out of that before you have to kind of do your thing? Actually, you want to get it rolled as quickly as humanly possible. Okay. So when you push the steam button, it kind of makes this noise. Right. And then you want to wait about seven to ten seconds to really kind of let that whole, you know, just let it really soak up all the steam, let the cheese fully melt on the tortilla. And then you pull it out and every second until it's wrapped in foil, it's basically losing moisture and awesomeness. Yeah. And so, you know, you throw the beans right on top of that cheese and the bean cheese fusion is the basis there upon is a, which all great burritos are built. Okay. Or at least should be. So there's a bean cheese fusion. Absolutely. Okay. I've never heard that before. Synergies are enjoyed okay. in that burrito. You saw that there was a lack of good tacos, burritos on Specifically burritos. Specifically burritos. So that's kind of how it all started. It was like, there is no place to get a good burrito. Yes. And tacos are really much more traditionally Mexican than our burritos. The Where burrito, are those? What are those? The burritos, scholars maintain the burrito was actually invented in the Mission District of San Francisco in the 40s. 40s or 50s. So scholars. Scholars maintain it. Okay. So when we opened our first location, my brother and I had combined experience of less than six months in the restaurant industry. Okay. Neither of us were really chefs. The whole thing, again, was really born out of just this love of burritos. Right. And a kind of knowledge and understanding that whoever could open this burrito place in New York would, would be a huge hit, would be a huge success. And the question was, could we be the ones to do it? Okay. So we started cooking. What was a pivotal moment in your business that just like absolutely changed everything? Changed everything. Uh, that would have to be the New York Times review that we got. That's, I, which, that's what I thought. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we'd never had a person waiting for us to open before that day. Yeah. I kind of just walk up to the front, flip the open close sign. My brother and I were like twiddle our thumbs, waiting for anyone to walk in for right. burrito. And the day the article came out there were 25 people just standing outside waiting. Yeah. And business has basically tripled at that location since yeah. that article. So we are at the part of the interview. Spitfire? Okay. Spitfire. So I'm going to ask you the same questions that we've asked everybody. Have you ever helped an injured animal? Yes. Okay. <laughs> And you can elaborate if you want. You don't have to elaborate. It's up to you. So Has anyone said no to that? Um, I'm not going to disclose the answer. <laughs> Sorry, that's not. Can you play an instrument? Yes. I'm actually a rapper. Okay. Just to give another quick so plug. So a vocal yes, instrument. Yes, I'm, uh, yeah. 
So you freestyle? I freestyle rap. I won't do it right now, so don't ask. Please, stop. We're actually about to, we're recording a rap song tomorrow. Okay. So you, if you, I don't know if you're familiar with our singles, Guac It Out and Black or Pinto. Have you heard of these? I think I saw a video. Did, I, did you do something? Guac It Out is our remake of uh, Walk It Out, which is obviously our ode to guacamole. And then Wiz Khalifa's Black and Yellow, we, we remade as Black or Pinto. Okay. And tomorrow we're going into the studio to our great friends at Explosion Robinson. It's a lovely recording studio in Midtown West. Okay. Um, and they're giving us some recording time, which is really nice. And we're recording 99 Tacos, which is, uh, if you like fish tacos off a bad few song, we got 99 Tacos, but a fish ain't one. Uh, <laughs> well, there it is. It's basically all about how we don't serve fish tacos. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's so, great. That's my instrument. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to it.